Legal experts say yesterday's court ruling, which overturned California's ban on same-sex marriage, right now doesn't impact couples here in Texas. Yeah, but supporters of, the, of gay rights say the ruling is an important victory that could eventually spur change right here in the Lone Star State. All new at 6, KVU political reporter Martin Bartlett is live downtown to talk about it. Martin. Good evening, Tyler. Late this afternoon, opponents of gay marriage filed court paperwork that ensure, all but ensure, that this battle is headed to the courts and could take years. In Austin's 4th Street District, supporters of gay marriage are lauding the decision out of California. I don't know why people want to get involved in other people's lives. If these people want to be happy, hey, I don't see any reason why they shouldn't be allowed to get married to each other. In stark contrast to celebrations, including this one held Wednesday evening at Austin City Hall, constitutional law scholars see the ruling's immediate impact for Texans as very limited. This is one federal district judge in California uh, holding that the California proposition prohibiting uh, same sex marriage is unconstitutional, and so it applies only to California. Only a Supreme Court decision would apply the rulings more broadly. While that would be years away, gay rights activists in Texas have been closely studying the ruling. Ann Wynn is on the board of Equality Texas. This could well give us a roadmap for how we approach uh, changing the laws in Texas. In 2005, Texas voters approved a constitutional amendment banning same sex marriage. While Wynn admits that changes to Texas marriage laws would be ambitious, we have the legislature coming back shortly. Um, in January, and we'll, we have a legislative agenda and a program, and we will use the news about this case as a way to keep educating Texans about these issues in our state. Equality Texas, she says, will instead use the ruling in California to champion other parts of their legislative agenda, including anti bullying laws designed to protect gay students in Texas classrooms. Now, Texas leaders and, uh, and those who are running for office here in Texas have largely kept their hands off this issue. We've only heard from a couple of candidates running for office on this issue. So far, among the very few of them has been Linda Chavez Thompson. She was in favor of the, the ruling that overturned Proposition 8. She is a Democrat running for lieutenant governor. We're live tonight in downtown Austin. Martin Bartlett, KVU News.